After Connor Lehman put up a zero in the top of the first, the Tin Caps come to bat now, and Fort Wayne's starting lineup is presented by Child's Play Plus. It's Grant Little leading things off, followed by Reynaldo Ilaraza, and then a couple of guys who were homer happy on the road, and they show that in baseball there's more than one way to get it done. You look at the roster and you say, how can a cleanup guy be five feet eight inches tall? But Zach Mathis was on a tear, especially that back half against Great Lakes. Went eight for 20 in the series. All the guy was doing was pumping base hits to right field. And then you've got Tirso Ornelas in that three spot, too. He had three homers in two weeks. He had just one going into the road trip. So that's the tandem we got to look for. Indeed, and for Mathis, that included a grand slam at Great Lakes. Back on Friday, that kick-started a three-game winning streak that the Tin Caps have brought with them back home. But tonight, a difficult challenge as they'll face Anderson Espinoza. And here's the defense behind him. Jonathan Perlaza, Edmund Americon, and Alexander Canario in the outfield. Jake Slaughter, Josue Uma, Bryce Windham, Tyler Derna around the horn, and it's Harrison Wenson, a minor league veteran, receiving for Espinoza, the 23-year-old from Venezuela. Different threads, same Espy. 97 with the fastball, maybe even a couple of eights in there. He's got a wipeout slider. It's going to be interesting to see, and it's going to be emotional for him to throw to some of his guys and some of his dear friends. He was with the Padres for five years. He was traded straight up for an all-star in 2016. He was traded straight up for a big leaguer in 2021. This guy carries weight with his name. That he does. His first pitch to Little at 94 misses. Espinoza originally signed by the Red Sox at the age of 16. As you referenced, he was traded straight up for Drew Pomeranz, a year when Pomeranz was an all-star with the Padres. Line drive caught by a leaping Wyndham. 95 mile an hour fastball probably cranked out just as hard, but Wyndham reacts in time. So Espinoza was only 18 when he was traded for the first time. That was probably a more jarring transition for him. Again, just being 18 years old and leaving the Red Sox organization to come directly here to Fort Wayne. He was picked up at the Fort Wayne airport by Mike Monaco, who was working on our broadcast crew at the time. Tonight, Mike Monaco filling in for the White Sox on NBC Sports Chicago. After really recently calling some games for the Red Sox and on ESPN. So in two right now on Ray Ilaraza. These guys are especially tight. And Espinoza gets him to go down looking. Well, Ilaraza and Espinoza both from Venezuela similar in age and have a tight connection and right now it's the game face still for Espy but uh, I'm sure there will be uh, some ribbing about that one maybe post game and he didn't use the heat to get it done no and I think if anybody's going to know the book on Anderson Espinosa and how to attack him it's going to be his teammates for five years well, in talking with the Tin Caps earlier today, they said it was probably the shortest scouting report meeting that they've had all season long. It's, it's Espy. Good luck. It'll be a two-word scouting report. Tears to Ornelas, fouls it off. So Espinosa made his Padres organizational debut in Fort Wayne in 2016. at that point was considered the top Padres prospect overall. That was before Fernando Tatis Jr. was acquired. Espinoza was drawing comparisons to a young Pedro Martinez. Unfortunately in 2017 was when the elbow issues began. 
And by the end of 2017, Espinoza had Tommy John surgery. Remarkably, after having a second Tommy John surgery, here he is throwing 97. So if you're familiar with the tin caps here in 2021, you know the arduous journey that Espinoza has been on and overcoming those injury obstacles to make it back here this year at the high A level. It's on the opening day roster for Fort Wayne. And the most important thing for him this year is just staying healthy. And by and large, he has done that. And only missed one start this season with the tin caps. That's a foul ball. And the one start he missed was the second scheduled start of the year. Yeah, and it was just precautionary. No injured list stints for Espinoza. And being used as a starter, but has not gone more than three innings this year. That's how long he went in his Cubs organizational debut in South Bend last week against Peoria. Had four strikeouts in that one. Only one walk. Ornelas cranks it deep to right. Goodbye. Tirso Ornella stays hot. Homers for a second game in a row. For the fifth time this season, but for the fourth time over the last two weeks. And this one comes with some style points and a brand new swag chain here in the fort. He's amped to have that bling. It spins too, just like the big boys in San Diego. Tierso took that fastball for a ride, and he's taking that swag chain for the first ride it's been on. We'll tell you more about this brand new swag chain later on, but that is its debut right there. Now Mathis knocks that foul. So it was on a 97 mile an hour fastball from Espinoza. Exited the ballpark with a velocity of 106 degrees. 410 feet to right field. 410. That's power on power. And we mentioned three homers in two weeks on the road trip. His first home run of the year came at Parkview Field, but it wasn't that much long before that. It took him a, a while to break into the home run column after leading the league in doubles pretty much since mid-May. I mean, this guy is hitting his stride in the home run department. And now Mathis hits one that ramps off the mound and proves to be troublesome for Uma. That took a funky hop off the hill. And it scored as a base hit. So with as much juice as Tirso Ornelas put in his swing, that was the exact opposite. And it also results in a base hit. Slows that thing down entirely. It's called waving a single into center. And so however they're coming, the hits do keep coming for Mathis. And the inning continues now for Justin Lopez. Man, that home run for Ornelas has to feel extra good, really in more ways than one, not only coming against a friend, a former teammate in Espinosa, but here, his first game for the Caps after Augustine Ruiz gets called up to double-A San Antonio. Ruiz, another close friend of Tirso's. Those guys room together on the road. So they were just together for the last couple of weeks. That got away from Wenson momentarily, but he recovers in time to nab Mathis at first to close out the first. But the Ornelas bomb and some swag have the tin caps up early. 